the question here after two rate rises are you seeing any distressed sales yet mm, good question here's a graph to explain what i'm talking about uh the yellow part explains standard variable rate and the black part explains australian medium house prices over the time so as you can see from 1990 to about 2022 the yellow line is the variable rate it was pretty high before obviously with the whole recession that started in September 1990 that lasted until September 1991 GDP fell by 1.7% employment uh, by 3.4% so pretty big crap happened then but obviously that didn't last long and we can see that uh, interest rates start to go down and as you can see from the graph over here uh, property prices start to go up in Australia and you can take a look from the graph here which is basically the global financial crisis when rates jacked up a lot Australian property prices still continue to climb. And at 2022, which is where we're at now, interest rates, you know, everyone's like, oh, it's so high. No, it's not. It's still considered very low. Property prices are still going high as ever. And when you're asking me, is there any distressed sales yet? <laughs> not a chance yet. Why do I say not a chance? Because investors like myself and many of my clients who are holding pre-approvals will continue to keep entering the property market right now. This is the graph that shows the percentage of lending that goes to investors. As you can see, in 2021 to 2022, it's starting to pick up a lot. Versus this graph, which shows first home buyers, sorry first home buyers, you're being kicked out because your borrowing capacity is not as strong as investors. And it's starting to decline. And that's why the government's throwing a lot of affordable plans when you guys are getting back into the market. Here's another graph by National Australia Bank. Uh, you can see here, Housing finance approvals investors by state. New South Wales is leading by far. As you can see from different states, it's still trending upwards. What this really means is that there's massive demand from investors like myself and many of my clients who are holding pre-approvals. We're ready to fire once the price hits a certain level. As you can see from this graph here, which I did for another TikTok video previously, there will be a 10 to 15% correction. Um, they're not distressed sales, they're just corrections. And because there's a massive demand to buy these properties once it hits a certain level, sellers know it's not the time to drop their pants yet because there's still massive demand waiting to buy this property once it hits a certain price. The good thing about those negative media news that's out there, this is true. Australia is experiencing a rental crisis. You can see from this graph here, which shows the state and rent per capita, the rent is steadily increasing. And this is great news for investors because we love to jack up our rents, but obviously not good for first home buyers, but hey, status quo baby, it's where you sit in the hierarchy of the status quo. But I'd love to know your opinion on this question. Let me know in the comment section. Love to see your comments.